Hi everyone, Rascal here. Today I'm going to show you a simple guide how to set up your Beam wallet with a Bitcoin Electrum wallet to enable you to do in-wallet atomic swaps between Beam and Bitcoin. So first things first, let's open our Beam wallet. As you can see, it's asked for my password, so I'll key in my password there and show this wallet. To enable us to link the Beam wallet and use the atomic swaps function, we need to utilize from the Beam wallet the option on swaps settings to create a seed phrase. The seed phrase will be used from the Beam wallet into the Electrum wallet so that they match up and the Beam wallet knows from where to take funds for buying Beam and also where to send funds when selling Beam. Both options are in the Atomic Swaps. So let's get into settings. I'm going to go into the tab which says Swap and I'm going to set it to Electrum. Now, you want to automatically select the server to which the Electrum wallet will connect. Set your default fee. The minimum is 50,000 Satoshi per kilobyte, which is 50 Satoshi per byte. And what you want to do is generate a new seed phrase. This seed phrase will link up your Beam wallet to your Bitcoin Electrum wallet. And you can select as many as you want here. Let's go with a random one and copy it for purposes of this explanation. I then want to open up Electrum and the Electrum wallet will eventually, as you can see it's not as quick as the Beam wallet, it'll ask you to set a wallet name. So let's call that Beam Swaps next you want to set up a standard wallet so you will ask do you want to create a new seed or restore a wallet using an existing seed now as your beam wallet has generated the seed phrase for you you want to put I already have a seed all you need to do then is paste that in as you can see the 12 phrase seed into there and click next. Give it a password and your Electrum wallet will open up. So let's pop that there beside the Beam wallet. Okay, so that can be applied and connected. So when you go into the swaps page you can see in the middle here your Bitcoin wallet has no Bitcoin, your Beam wallet in this instance has no Beam. So what we want to do, firstly, we want to get some Beam. So I'm going to have to load up the Electrum wallet with some funds. Let's do that now. Here we go, here comes some Bitcoin. So what we want to do is wait for that to get confirmed. One confirmation is enough and it will show eventually in the Beam wallet. I should say this is exactly the same process as is used for the other coins which you can uh, atomic swap with Beam. Uh, Litecoin and Qtum are also already developed within the Beam wallet so you can uh, use either of those in the same process using an Electrum wallet of Litecoin or an Electrum wallet of Qtum. Just get your seed phrase um, and uh, import it into a new Electrum wallet and it will link up to the graphic user interface wallet of Beam. Um, so it's a fantastic feature. Um, there we go. We have a confirmation on the Electrum wallet of those funds and you can see them available to spend within your atomic swap screen of the beam wallet 
So let's see about accepting a swap offer within the wallet here. Let's see what we've got. Um, let's uh, let's take 10 beam for that amount there. We'll accept that and swap. And there you see it's waiting for the counterparty. It's in progress already. And you can see all the info and details of that here. There you go. The BTC has gone into a lock transaction. As you can see, the Electrum wallet has automatically taken it from that wallet to send to the counterparty who is selling those beams. So the transactions you can see in the list in progress. I'm going to receive 10 beams. It's going to cost me that amount of Bitcoin. And it's fulfilled in the Electrum wallet, as you can see. So all we need to do is wait for that transaction going through. It says here the swap was expected to complete in at most six hours. So we're basically waiting on six confirmations of the Bitcoin into the lock address, and then a single confirmation to land on the Electrum wallet so that I can receive those 10 beam. So there you have it, received 10 beams minus the transaction fee, sent 0 0.00017162 Bitcoin, transaction completed and all the information is there. So next we're going to delve a little bit further and instead of publishing our swap on the public board within the wallet, there's also a function to be able to do it completely anonymously. And that is by creating a swap token and giving it to your counterparty to perform the swap without listing it on the public listings. So here we have the atomic swap screen. I intend to send 0.00136159 Bitcoin and I want to receive 28.39 Beam. To do this without publishing it on the Atomic Swap board, all you need to do is put in all the info that you want to perform the swap with, copy the swap token and then send that to your counterparty. So I'll go ahead and do that. Into the atomic swaps on your counterparty computer uh, as such, accepting the offer and creating the swap that should begin the progress of that particular swap without posting it on the public boards. Obviously this can be uh, arranged between yourself and your counterparty um, without anybody else knowing it. Um, it's a great function to keep your anonymity and uh, working with uh, atomic swaps within the Beam wallet. So let's let that progress. <laughs> So there you have it, Bitcoin Atomic Swaps 
directly to Beam within the Beam graphic user interface wallet. Links below on a text guide how to set up your Bitcoin Electrum wallet uh, corresponding to your Beam wallet and uh, also links to download those wallets specifically. Um, like and share this video. Thanks for watching.